It might not come as a surprise, but there have been some truly awful marketing campaigns in the world of gaming. This is bound to happen when you ask marketeers to come up with something that appeals to teenage boys. However, some of these ads clearly went too far, especially for the sensitive PG era we live in today. Get ready for the 10 most controversial marketing stunts in gaming. Ah, dead side. No place like home. The marketing team for the mediocre Shadow Man 2 completely lost the plot with the terrible promotion stunt for the game. Since the whole game is about coming back from the dead, they thought it would be a good idea to put Shadow Man 2 ads on gravestones. Yep, that's right, actual ads on actual graves. Publisher Acclaim put out a press release saying they would pay people money if they put a promotional message on the grave of their loved ones. They even called it advertising. Of course, it turned out to be one big joke, but it sure made a lot of people angry at the time. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not work. The Burnout 2 speeding ticket promotion is another weird stunt by Acclaim, but this one actually happened. Their crazy marketing team issued a press release saying that they would pay the speeding ticket of anyone caught speeding on the launch day of Burnout 2. It goes without saying that encouraging people to break the law is downright dangerous and pretty stupid. The company did end up paying quite a few fines of gamers who took their car out on the road for some real-life burnout. What were they thinking? Publisher Electronic Arts got into some trouble when a marketing stunt for Dante's Inferno backfired. They hired a group of actors who protested against the game at E3 2009. They were supposedly part of a church in Ventura County and held up signs that called the game sacrilegious. Protesters even went as far as calling EA the Antichrist. This led to EA being accused by the press of staging the fiasco and using it as a marketing hoax. The whole thing began spiraling out of control and EA came out and said that the protest was indeed fake. However, this angered a group of Christian bloggers who began protesting against the game for real. So, we guess EA got what they wanted after all? How do you promote a game like Hitman Absolution? Simple, you make a Facebook app that lets you put virtual hits on your friends. The app even lets you pick funny reasons for killing your friends, such as having hairy legs or small breasts. The general public did not respond well to the campaign, and many people called it cyberbullying. There were even a few calls made to the police by people who didn't get the joke and thought they received actual death threats. All except for me! I'm free! Publisher Square Enix quickly issued an apology and removed the app. They said the stunt was wide off the mark. You don't say. This hot sauce is a big hit, huh? Ah! Oh, crap. We're back with another stunt by those crazy folks at Acclaim. To promote Turok Evolution, they asked people to name their baby Turok. They offered $10,000 to anybody who would give their newborn this ridiculous name. It's not clear if the prize was actually collected, but many press outlets criticized the claim. They called it a reckless PR stunt that could ruin someone's life. A claim responded by saying that many parents already named their kids after famous movie and music stars, and they simply wanted to start the same trend in gaming. Nice try, but we're not buying it. Do 
Do you remember the time when Sony tried to sell the white PSP to Dutch consumers using not-so-subtle racism? They made a series of billboards in the Netherlands that showed a white woman overpowering a black woman. This was meant to promote the launch of the new ceramic white PSP. The horrible billboards caused an outrage and they were quickly removed. The shock factor was way too high, even for the liberal Dutch public. It's never a good idea to sell your product with implied racism. But there's one they fear. In their tongue, he's Dovahkiin, Dragonborn. Publisher Bethesda must have really liked the Name Your Baby Something Stupid campaign from Acclaim because they copied it for Skyrim. To promote the game, they offered parents a lifetime subscription to every Bethesda product if they named their baby Dovahkiin. However, there was a catch. The Dragonborn had to be born on November 11, 2011, or 11 11 11, which was the release date of Skyrim. Nobody thought the prize would be claimed, but Eric and Megan Kellemeyer rose to the challenge. Baby Dovahkiin was born earning them a lifetime of Bethesda games. Seven years later, the kit now uses the name Dova, and the parents don't regret a thing. Resident Evil 6 is one of the worst games in the series. It's almost like Capcom knew they had a terrible game on their hands because they pulled a desperate PR stunt. They opened the Wesker and Son Resident Evil Human Butchery in London. People could buy pieces of meat that were cut and shaped to look like human limbs. While it wasn't actual cannibalism, it still felt very wrong. Capcom got a lot of bad press and they quickly closed the shop. Selling human meat to promote your game is never a good idea. I always do, Sam. I always do. The next PR stunt was so dangerous, it's a miracle nobody got killed. To promote Splinter Cell Conviction in New Zealand, they decided to hire an actor and dress him up like one of the bad guys in the game. He was then given a fake gun and walked around Auckland at night before going into a bar. It didn't take long before the police was called by people saying they saw a terrorist enter a bar. The actor almost got shot and Ubisoft is very lucky nobody got killed that night. Pointing guns at strangers has to be one of the worst stunts in the history of marketing. Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. Oh my god! Oh, oh my gosh! I think it'll make a person become insane. Dead Space 2 is one of the best survival horror games ever made. It also had one of the worst marketing campaigns in the history of gaming. EA let 200 middle-aged mothers play the game and posted their jump scares online. Many gamers thought the Your Mom Hates Dead Space 2 campaign was lame and it got a lot of negative press for being sexist. It might not be the most shocking example of bad marketing in this video, but it's still a dumb way to promote such a great game. If I ever see it somewhere in a video, I, I will personally take a hammer and, and slam it. Okay? Your mom hates Dead Space 2. Those were 10 controversial marketing stunts in gaming. Which one shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> you know the talkative type, huh? <laughs> you know your place. <laughs> well, uh, I, I like that in the barber. <laughs>